Hi, my name is Steve Sharkey from Thrive Fitness. Back in 1990, I opened my first gym. So passionate to change people's lives, I'd work them as hard as they could stand. They would leave the gym sweating buckets and feeling a great sense of achievement. But over the long term, very few clients would lose much body fat. Clients would be fitter, but their weight basically stayed the same. Obviously, I couldn't be watching them 24 hours a day. And I knew it had to be down to what they were putting into their stomach or some external reason. So I devised personal nutrition plans. Some succeeded, but the majority would fail to lose enough weight to write home about. It wasn't until my third year of operating the gym that I discovered why my clients weren't getting the results they rightly deserved. Over the next four weeks, I'm going to share with you four brief videos. These four minute blasts of information will arm you with the facts that could dramatically increase the way you look and feel. Have you ever struggled getting long term success with your health goals? Have you tried many programs, diets, boot camps, personal trainers, etc., but nothing has lasted? I bet you've had some short term success, but now exercise feels like a job and you're frustrated. All of a sudden, you're back where you started and you're thinking, how did I get here once again? Sounds familiar? The good news is, number one, you're not alone. And secondly, I'm going to offer a solution. All you need to do is take on board the information I'm about to share, then introduce into what's relevant into your life. I talk very little about exercise when I first sit down with a client whose sole intention is to improve their general well-being. What I do share with them are what I call the four lifestyle pillars to fat loss. These are number one, the sleepless you. Secondly, the emotional you. Thirdly, the nutritional you. And the fourth one, the hormonal you. Today I'm going to briefly discuss the first of our four lifestyle pillars of fat loss, the sleepless you. Experts inform us that we need seven to eight hours of sleep per day. Research says when sleep loss becomes habitual, the disruption of your hormones and your metabolism may contribute to weight gain. The two hormones in question are ghrelin and leptin. Studies reveal that sleep restriction can lead to an increase in the hormone ghrelin. Now ghrelin stimulates your appetite. End result could be that this hormone is overstimulating your appetite and you could be gaining weight because you're eating too much. The other hormone, leptin, this is an appetite suppressant and is meant to tell us when we've had enough to eat. Now mess with this hormone and your body doesn't know when it's full. So there's two good reasons why we need to ensure we receive sufficient sleep. And here's how we can do this. Experts suggest introducing a buffer zone that involves relaxation or other relaxing activities between hectic daily activity and your restful period of sleep. So here's three useful sleep tips. Number one, get the temperature right. Your body heat distribution systems are strongly linked to sleep cycles. When you sleep, your body's internal temperature actually drops to its lowest level, generally about four hours after you fall asleep. Scientists believe a cooler bedroom may therefore be more conducive to your sleep since it mimics your body's natural temperature drop. This is why taking a warm bath 90 to 120 minutes before bedtime may also help you sleep. It increases your core temperature and when it abruptly drops as you get out of the bath it signals to your body that you are ready for sleep. While there's no set consensus as to what temperature will help you sleep the best, in most cases, a room temperature of about 65 degrees Fahrenheit is perfect. Once you're within that range, many factors could influence which temperature is best for you, including, of course, the choice of pyjamas and or bedding. If you're wearing lots of bed clothes, it may be more difficult for your body to regulate its temperature. Secondly, darkness at night. Obviously, we all know that dimming or switching off of the lighting can have a significant effect on how quickly you get off to sleep and the quality of your sleep. However, exposing yourself to light at night, even briefly, leads to a disruption of your sleep process. 
stay home, for, ensure that you, the room is dark enough for you to relax. And thirdly, lavender essential oil. Keep a bottle of lavender oil by the side, just a sniff before dozing off. You can also add a few drops to your a diffuser, rub in some lavender oil infused body lotion, spritz it on your, your pillow, or even wear a, a sleep mask that has lavender in it. Lavender is well known for its calming effects. One study found lavender essential. It, it, it really improved the length of time taken off to go off to sleep and the quality of your sleep. So that concludes today's video. Next week I'll share with you the second lifestyle pillar to fat loss, the emotional you, where you'll learn crucial tips and strategies for managing stress. If you can identify with today's topic and require guidance on this or other related issues, simply call or email me. I've designed an online training program that will enable you to get the benefits of a personal trainer at a fraction of the cost but still get the results as if we were training one-on-one. -on -one. So call me, Steve, on 0437 314 920 or message me on stephen.sharkey at bigpond.com. Bye for now.